Welcome back to my channel to watch another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve polynomial equation using Octave and MATLAB. I'm going to start talking about what is a polynomial equation, followed by how to solve polynomial equation. So before jumping into how to solve the polynomial equation, so I'm going to briefly talk about polynomial equation. Polynomial equation is nothing more than having a variable x, power of n, combined with a coefficient a n. Then we can reduce a order of exponent until they reach out 0. Each term is coefficient a. a is a typically constant, so that we can add them up to make whole thing equal to 0 we call it degree n polynomial equation. Simply, it's the polynomial equation is degree 1 polynomial equation. So if n equal to 1, equation that we have is a1x plus a0 equal to 0. So for example, we have 2x plus 1. In this case, we have a1 equal to 2, a0 equal to 1. So since we have exponent n equal to 1, we call it nominal equation or simply linear equation. To find a solution for this linear equation, we need to find the x variable to make the left hand side equal to 0. In this case, x equal to minus 0.5. Graphically, we can also find the solution. So in order to find it, typically we plot y equal to 2x plus 1 and find a x variable to make this whole thing equal to zero. In order to graphically find the solution, I'm going to use online plotting tool, which is GeoZebra. The simplest way we can do, go to the Google, and you can punch it in GeoZebra. Hit enter and find, click the first one, and hit the star calculator. Then you can see the empty online plotting tool. Then you can go to the empty box in the left hand side, you can type the function that you want to plot. In this case, y equal to 2x plus 1. So as you can see, we have a linear curve. So to find a solution, you can find the intersection between y equal to 0 and plot. You end up in having x equal to minus 0.5. The question comes how to utilize Octave and MATLAB to solve this equation. In Octave and MATLAB, there is a built-in function called roots. Roots function requires a polynomial equation within a parenthesis. The way that it works, they collect only coefficient. In this linear equation, we have 2 for x and 1 for a constant. We add a coefficient as a row vector. We have 2 space and 1 with the square bracket within a roots function. So in command window, I'm going to start typing roots, followed by row vector 2 and 1. You can see the solution equal to minus 0.5. So let's solve a quadratic equation. So let's say we have x squared plus x minus 2 equal to 0. So in this case, highest degree or highest exponent is n equal to 2. So we call it binomial equation or quadratic equation. So when you factor out in order to solve using pen and paper, you can break it down into x minus 1 by x plus 2 equal to 0. So as you expect, to find the x to make the whole thing equal to 0, you have x equal to 1 or x equal to minus 2. In order to find the solution graphically, you can also plot y equal to x squared plus x minus 2. In GeoGebra, you can also type y equal to x power of 2 plus x minus 2. As you can see, you have a concave curve so that when you find an intersection between curve and y equal to 0, so you have x equal to minus 2 and x equal to 1. In Octave window, you can also do the similar approach. Since we have a hidden coefficient for x power of 2, you have 1 
and we have another one for x and minus 2 for a constant. So in root functions, you need to express this quadratic equation as 1, 1, and minus 2 with a square bracket. In octave, you can also type it in square bracket with 1 and 1 and minus 2. So you can see two solutions. First one is x equal to minus 2. Second one is x equal to 1, which is what you expect. So what if you have a different form of quadratic equation? So let's say x squared minus 4 equal to 0. So the problem of this one, we don't have an x term. So that we need to reasonably express this polynomial equation in Octave and MATLAB. The key thing is that how to express the x term as a row vector. Since we have 1 and 0 and minus 4, then we, we can express it as 1, 0, and minus 4 with a square bracket. So you can start with the root. You can go to in the square bracket and type it in 1, 0, and minus 4. As you expect, your solution will be x equal to minus 2 and x equal to 2. Let's say x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x plus 12 equal to 0. Since the highest exponent is n equal to 3, we call it trinomial equation. Or we can say cubic equation. In order to solve it using pen and paper, you need to factor out x squared for the first two terms. So it ends up in having x squared followed by x minus 3. Then we can also factor out minus 4 for the last two terms. So we have minus 4 x minus 3 equal to 0. So we can also take x minus 3 out of these two terms, then you end up in having x minus 3 followed by x squared minus 4 equal to 0. Then we can also factor this out so that we have x minus 3, which is same as this, followed by x minus 2, followed by x plus 2 equal to 0. So in order to find x make this whole thing 0, so x could either 3, 2 or minus 2. Graphically, you can also plot this one as y equal to x cubed minus 3 x squared minus 4 x plus 12. So in GeoGebra, we can type y equal to x cubed minus 3 x squared minus 4 x plus 12. So as you can see, we have cubic curve having intersection at x equal to minus 2 and plus 2 and plus 3, which is what you expect. So in order to solve it using MATLAB and Octave, you need to also collect the coefficient for each terms so that we have 1, minus 3, minus 4, and 12 with a square bracket under roots. So you have 1, minus 3, minus 4, and 12. So we have three solutions, which is minus 2, 3, and 2. Now the question comes, what if you have a higher order polynomial equation, which is x power of 4 minus 5x cubed plus 5x squared plus 5x minus 6 equal to 0. Now I think you learn enough how to solve this one using pen and paper and graphically and using Octave and MATLAB. I'm going to leave it as a question for you. You can figure it out yourself. So if you find the solution, please share your solution in the comment section below. In summary, we talked about what is a polynomial equation. I hope you understand it better than before. What is a polynomial equation is. Then I'm gonna, I also showed you how to solve them using Octave and MATLAB. So hope this tutorial video is useful for you. And if you enjoyed, thumbs up and please consider to subscribe if you want to continue to watch similar video in future. And see you next time.